Hi everybody, this is Bupina Tube. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can scale in, scale out, how to reposition your video, how to rotate in a smooth and nice manner. So first thing to do is to select the track by doing this. Once you've done that, the effect control would appear and a thing called motion would also appear. Then you need to select that. Here we have position, scale and rotation. So in this video that I'm trying to edit, the person is a bit too far. So I want to get closer to him. So first thing to do is to add a keyframe by clicking here. So you have to also click on the toggle animation for position. A keyframe would, would appear for the position as well. So now we can move the frame to the location that we want to have the keyframe. And then we can click on here to add the keyframe and another one to add here. One for position and one for the zoom. Now we need to select the final zoom position by selecting this. Hold your left mouse key and drag it to the right to zoom in you can adjust the vertical position as well and same with the horizontal position as you can see it shows how the transition takes place so if you move the video back to the beginning and play this is what we we'll get. We can make it smoother by holding and dragging them to a further distance, further in the timeline. By doing so, the time taken to get from position number one to position number two is increased and that smoothens uh, the transition. Also, you can right click on it and select different type of transition. At the moment, the default is linear. You can select continuous miserier. Now, if you look at it again, you will see the transition is more now dynamic. In a similar fashion, you can add rotation as well. So by clicking on the toggle animation, I put one initial position for the rotation and then I, if I go to the final position here, I can add another keyframe and I, I can rotate it to the angle that I want. This looks interesting, so let's see how it works. So we'll go back to the beginning and play it. And now we have zoomed in and looks fantastic. Another way to move in and out or zoom in and out would be just to select the motion like this and then this frame is selected and then you can move it to different positions. And you can drag and, and increase it like this and move it different position and now automatically the two frames are added so if we go back to the beginning and play it it makes it interesting so forth and so on during this you can add as many keyframes as you want to move the angle of the camera to different locations different zooms i hope this video was useful to you guys and if it was please don't forget to share and subscribe this video and i hope to see you in my next video thanks for watching guys